Okay, today we are playing a game on King's Row. We are in the Bronze SR range, and we will be playing Baptiste the entire. You fucking idiot! Why have you put Bridget on the goddamn? Sp oh my god! Past me is a complete fucking idiot. Jesus Christ! We do play a little bit of Bridget during this game at the very end, like, not at the very end, on attack we play like a minute and a half of Bridget, and apparently that's just all past me could think about, so, god damn, I even wrote Baptiste there, god damn it. Alright, let's just start the game, Jesus Christ, so we're defending first. And, uh, Reinhardt's already standing far further up than he should be, but you know, such is life. So, definitely wasn't any reason to throw the lamp down just yet. Sure, you know, Hammond's gonna do this. That's inconvenient. It's annoying. But he's not likely to kill us. <clears throat> it potentially could if he's really good. He's in bronze. He's not. So, we didn't need to use the lamp right there. We could have just used regenerative burst, and that's gonna take off most of the damage that he's done at that point. Ideally, we're trying to use uh, the lamp when someone actually has, like, a high chance of dying. So here he comes again, you know, inconvenient, there he goes, away. So Reinhardt is trying to get himself killed. Like, he is trying his absolute hardest right now to die. And uh, he, miraculously, he hasn't. That's absolutely incredible, to be honest. Oh, has he gone back out? No, he got pinned. Okay, he got pinned. My bad, my bad. So... Honestly, throwing the lamp right there would have been pretty justified, just because we know he's in critical. We don't know how critical around the wall, so it would have been justified to use it right there. But we, uh, we weren't looking at him when he got pinned. I heard him get pinned. He did just sort of get snatched out from under us. I'm not going to be too upset about it, but we could have saved his life if we reacted in time and threw the lamp over where he was getting pinned, but... We did, like, look at him, look away, look back, he's gone. It was a very uh, Wily e. Coyote kind of interaction, so at the same time, I'm not going to be too upset about it. So I put down the amplification matrix. It's fi fine enough to do. Um, unfortunately, we had to, like, reload right as we put it down, which was a little awkward timing-wise. Now we're not actually, like, sticking with the amplification matrix, though, because... We, it's, it was still there for an extra second or two, and we just, like, left it. We could have stayed with it a little bit longer there, and maybe got an extra shot off. Sometimes that extra shot is all it takes. So Reinhardt's managed, <coughs> managed to make it back again. Um, oh, just managed to get Bridget before Coalescence happened. Okay, I was like, Ryan's pinning. This this is actually fantastic news for us. We actually ended up in like the best possible location. So we gotta be ready for the enemy Ryan to charge right now. Because the enemy Moira just used coalescence. And Reinhardt players, they're a simple folk. I don't I'd know. We're a simple folk. As soon as we get the slightest provocation, we're gonna push shift. So this is when we're hopefully braced to throw the lamp down wherever he goes to try and uh, stop someone from dying to the pin. He didn't actually pin anybody. We've ended up up here now. Honestly, we should have stayed up there. We were on the high ground. High ground's fantastic. And Baptiste is a hero that benefits from being on high ground. It makes it a little bit harder to hit the grenades on people because you're further away, but... High ground's fantastic if you're any kind of, like, long-range hero. Oh my god, Hammond, like, Hammond did us dirty right there. That was not okay. Um. Hmm. We are closer than we need to be right now, but, like, we're gonna be way closer than we want to be after that one happens. Eh, hmm. <laughs> Jesus Christ is an appropriate response. We were just hanging out, having a good time, and then just got booped really far. We were closer to them than we strictly needed to be during that. We could have been further back, but I mean, if Hammond's going to bash into the back of us, we're going to be too far up regardless shortly afterwards. But if we were a little bit further back, we might not have died, potentially. It's, uh, you know, it, it, it certainly we would have been less in the enemy team. So, you know, Genji doing this, you know, terribly, terribly annoying. Here's the thing, I don't care about this guy, right? Here's the thing about this guy. He's coming in to our May and Reinhardt first off, you know, and our Zarya. Like, they're all going to be taking care of that. Like, he's not going to be having a good time. We could just use Regenerative Burst 
heal off any of the damage he does, because it's mostly just going to be chip damage. There's no way, like, the bronze Genji is going to be good enough to kill anybody, right? Especially under these adverse conditions. We just use Regenerative Burst, and then just keep firing through the Amplification Matrix, and just ignore that guy, and just kind of, like, bob back and forth on the spa. Because as it stands, our Amplification Matrix, oh god, it got, like, no value. We shot one shot through it. It was a little bit early <coughs> to throw down- oh god. We're cutting that one a little close with our health. Uh, I would have thrown the lamp at my feet uh, first right there, but we lived anyway, so hey, it's good. Uh, it was a little early to use the amplification matrix. They still hadn't pushed the um, payload up to the arch yet. It would have been better to wait till they were in the arch with the payload and then start trying to shoot into it once they're actually like trying to push in, basically. And now Reaper spinning on us. We don't have the lamp at this point. So, you know, life is hard. There's not much else we can do about it at that point. <coughs> Jesus Christ. Ugh. So, uh, yeah. You know, li life is hard like that. Uh, we could have tried, like, hopping. You know, charge up, j boost the knees and try to jump. But, like, yeah, you know, that's never really going to save you from Reaper. No. Um, good thing to do with Baptiste is on a map where there's some kind of high ground, it, the best thing you can usually do for, like, safety's sake is hang out and... Oh, I forgot to start my pen, God damn it! what a disaster. Is hang out on the ground near the high ground, so like, you know, around here, we're in corner, all good stuff. And then there's high ground right here. And we can just, if anything bad starts happening to us, we can just charge up our powerful knees, and then just hop up onto the high ground again. And... Then, if they follow us, that's okay, we can jump down, and if we're, like, holding crouch while we're up there, expecting them to follow us, if we hold crouch, we charge it up, jump off, hold, keep holding crouch and jump, and then we'll jump again as soon as we reach the ground, assuming we don't fall for long enough to reset the jump, which can happen if the high ground is too high, but I believe it works here. Either way, you know, it's, uh, if you're bad things happen to you, you just jump up onto the high ground. If they follow you, you jump down, and if you land, if, then if you jump down again, you can just start charging your knees once you land again, and then just jump back up again, and just keep repeating until the bad man goes away, basically. So, Reinhardt managed to land a decent enough Earth Shatter. It was certainly adequate. Yet, yeah, I would have, uh, this is definitely the time to use the lamp. Reinhardt looked like he might die right there. He ended up not dying. Great, but he looked, it got really spooky close. So it was a justified use of the lamp. We don't want Reinhardt to die. If he did die, it might not have really mattered. You know, there's a case to be made. Let's see, this is where we should be using our powerful knees to get away from Reaper. Uh, it's okay, he was bad and didn't actually kill us. Okay, we've got the lamp. All right, all right, I was got very scared for a second there. It doesn't take that long to charge your knees, so you can just like bob, like bob and weave a little bit back and forth. Still charge the knees, jump up, and then leave Reaper behind. <clears throat> and then like, what's Reaper gonna do? Right, teleport up to us, you know? So oh god, this is all a complete mess. I yeah, I don't blame you for wanting to use it right here. Um, the thing is, this, yeah, like, the line of sight is really bad, but it, because if they, if, if they start, take us back over that way, we have to immediately leave the Matrix behind, but to be honest with you, I can't blame you for using it right there, that was a real clusterfuck of a situation, um, uh, I would have probably done the same thing. We were trying to keep Reinhardt alive, so, you know, we followed him in. There's a case to be made that we should have just, like, written the guy off, because going in there is really scary. But, um, I would have done the same thing, you know. Life is, uh, yeah. Sometimes you try, and then we just got put in this really awkward spot. It might have been better to, like, try and move down the staircase a little bit first, so that we could try and get the amplification matrix line of sight going through the alleyway a little bit, but... Honestly, given everything that was happening, I think that was a justified use. So, we just don't really want to be hanging around this corner for this exact reason. The bad men will be coming soon. We should have been, like, sliding over to the large health kit to our right sooner to try and put some distance between us and them. Because Reaper's spinning now. Who knows? If we were there, we might have been able to um, help him with that one. Uh, fight's still not going terribly in our absence. Now it's going terribly in our absence. Um... 
So yeah, it, just, it should have been like moving further over to like disengage from that situation because it, it's not going to be good anytime soon. So we've jumped up to the high ground. We're immediately like, ah, maybe not. Uh, there's a few bad men coming to us. Was that Reaper I saw teleporting up there? I saw a particle effect. Yeah, Reaper just teleported up there. Okay, so Reaper is going to go around the back side of us right now. Oh, our Reaper just ran into him. Maybe not. Mm, our Reaper didn't die, so it's probably good. Um, we probably didn't see their Reaper teleport up there. We were probably looking at Hammond, but... Oh no, we just used the lamp. Oh, goodness heavens. Oh no. Um, I mean, we were we were low, correct? That's why we used the lamp. I was talking about something else at the time. I get, I get very easily distracted, okay? You know, look. Uh, we used the... We should have used Regenerative Burst sooner. We... Because we're low there, so we don't want to die, so we use the lamp. That's fair enough. Now is a fine enough time to use Regenerative Burst. Just because we need the healing, basically. And we know Hammond is still in the vicinity, so we don't want, like, him to kill us. Um, and if we'd use Regenerative Burst, we wouldn't have been at, like, 44 health when he slammed on us. So we might have felt safe enough to, u to not use the lamp there, which... <sighs> Reaper, come on. Ah, teleport there. Ah, oh, fuck it, I'll just go, actually. Our Reaper teleport over. We, like, jumped over our Reaper as well. Um, I was talking about something. Oh, we might have been safe enough, to, felt safe enough to not use the lamp there, and then we would have had it for when Genji came at us, and it doesn't really always, like, it, it frequently doesn't actually save you from Dragon Blade, because Genji can be cutting the lamp and you at the same time, but, you know, something's better than nothing. I don't like doing this. It's it's so scary to do this with the immortality field. I don't I don't want to do that. It's, I don't like doing that. I don't like using it to clear the minefield. There's so much that can go wrong. I would have rather just like backed up and tried to use the amplification matrix to keep the other people on the point alive instead. Reinhardt went too far. We weren't gonna see him, but I I just I I don't like using the immortality field like that. There's so much that can go wrong. Like, if anything kills the lamp, like, right as you hit a mine, it's all over, dog. And sometimes the mine explosion just ends up killing the lamp. This, I, I don't like it. I don't like it. Uh, sometimes you got no choice, you know, like, we, if we were gonna do that, I would have rather waited until, like, the payload is literally, like, a meter away, and then just run up with it instead, rather than do it so soon. Uh, it was pretty close by that point anyway, so, you know, I mean, like, to be honest with you also, it wasn't going to make any difference what we did right there. We lost that regardless. So, we're down a boy at this point. Uh, you know, what can you do? Uh, I, I would have already left, to be honest with you. Um... Good job having a uh, stronger uh, sense of will than me. I just like, eh, whatever. 5v6, what can you do? GG, go next. Um, I can, like, count the number of times I've seen a 5v6 win on, like, both hands. You know, it doesn't happen very often. So we went um, baguette there, as you can see. And presumably for the uh, Hammond and Genji. Well, they had a Reaper as well. There's a few people to do it for there. But, eh, it, it didn't really work out too well, so we decided to go back to Baptiste. Baptiste is, like, the strongest support in the game right now. And we got booped out of the Immortality Field, that's rough. Uh, running back into it, not a good idea at this point, because we know Reaper's over there. And he's gonna be like, oh, sick, he's out of it. He's gonna be, like, coming for us right now. It would have been better to duck into the room on our left-hand side break line of sight to, I mean, he'll still see us through the window, but he can't shoot us through the window. We can use regenerative burst, go around to the large health kit if we need to as well, and just, like, stay out of his line of sight, basically, because, you know, if we just duck around there, he can't get us. Maybe he wraiths after us, you know, at least then we got to use his wraith, him to use his wraith form aggressively, and then hopefully our team kills him, and then that's in our favor still, because we have a massive spawn advantage on this map. Oh, good heavens. Oh, no. Yep. Yeah, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I, I, I would have already thrown it in, to be honest with you. I was scared she was just going to get burst down by Reaper right there. Yeah, you know. This is the 5v6 thing, you know. Because now, they're at a numbers advantage constantly. And our team is doubtlessly like, Ugh, 
of course, always with levers, right? Uh, who left? Was it? No, was it? Wasn't the other healer? Was it? No. Anna's there. Who was at the left? Must be one of the DPS. Yeah, because we got Winston and Zarya running around. Oh, oh, Dragon Blade. Oh God. Oh God. Okay. 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 All right. Uh, I was afraid uh, we took a little time time to throw the lamp down, but we we lived, we lived, and I lived as well. So that's the important thing. I, at this point, there's not a lot we do about the situation. Like everything out here is just a complete disaster, constantly. Right? Like this whole courtyard area has just been one non-stop catastrophe. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh god! Oh Jesus Christ! Genji's there, use Regenerative Burst. Oh no. Alright, we died regardless. We had Regenerative Burst for quite a while in there where we could have used it, but it didn't matter. We died there regardless. If if you don't get punished, you don't have to learn. We were gonna get punished regardless of what we did, so that's kind of the same thing. So we still don't have to learn. So we've got Amplification Matrix Maze out here, like, our, our one dream right now is basically Amplification Matrix, we kill a bunch of people. Uh, did it look like Reinhardt was gonna collide with that wall? Cause he gotta like, do some quick math when Reinhardt's pinning someone. It was so-so, I would've hedged on him missing it though, but it was close. Um, uh, uh, the thing with Baptiste is uh, trying to actually. Honestly, that guy should have probably just been Bastion this whole time. Like, what is there to lose at this point? Thing is, with Baptiste, is you've got to do some quick math to figure out where Reinhardt's going to uh, land with the person and then actually use it, you know, and actually, like, throw it there in time. Honestly. Just put the Matrix down in front of that guy. Yeah, like, should have done it sooner than that, really. Just, like, come around the corner. Bastion's still alive. Cool. Just, like, Q twice, flip it lengthwise, put it in front of him, and hope he kills, like, five people out here right now. Because that's the only way we capture this checkpoint at that point, is, like, Bastion manages to kill a bunch of people. So we might as well just hedge our bets and hope he pulls it off. But, by the time the attack round comes around, we're fucked. You know, um, we, it was a lot of music we got going on in here today. Little V Mills is very good. Um, hold on. Like, these, these videos are all fine and all, but, like, the video that, if, if you're gonna watch, like, one video from my boy, it's gotta be Can You Feel the Sunshine. Look at that. It's absolutely incredible. Uh, very good video, highly recommend. Uh, if you're into, like, metal music, good guy. Recommend. Very funny also, still. Uh, yeah. Zero's got a good soundtrack. Rising's got a good soundtrack. DMC5's got a good soundtrack, you know. Uh, Guilty Gear has a good soundtrack. Um, what's, Killer Instinct has a good soundtrack. And then Game's Done Quick if you're into speedrunning, you know, good stuff. Um... So I can't really think of an overarching thing that stood out. Uh, I guess cooldown management. Mostly, um, not using regenerative burst when we could have, um, using the lamp uh, overzealously. Like the the one right at the start was the big one for me. It's like here comes Hammond. Oh God, you know everybody's full health. It's just Hammond. It'll be fine. Regenerative burst will take care of it. Lamp is a really important um, resource or uh, cooldown. I should say it's not a resource. So you really don't want to blow it on, like, an overreaction to a situation. You want to save it for, like, when the Genji or the Reaper comes in and starts using their ultimate. They usually kill the lamp as well, but, hey, sometimes you only need an extra half a second or so to actually, like, stun him or kill him or something like that, you know. So, yeah. Can't think of an overarching thing get outside of, like, cooldown stuff, I guess. So, anyway. Thank you very much for watching. If you did, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. I'm more than happy to answer. If you haven't already, you can join our Discord and ask questions more directly and have a conversation about them, or just ship posts with us. I start streaming on Twitch Thursday, Friday, Saturday, 8 p.m. EST till midnight EST. There's a link to the channel in the description. And if you managed to... Wait, did I say midnight? I meant 11 if I said midnight. And if you managed to make it all the way through the video and somehow still enjoyed it, please like the video and subscribe for more content of middling quality in the future. And I hope you found the video helpful.